At least it's in the shade for the afternoon. So last year we took down an ash and a black cherry and to allow for our corn garden, I'll show you slowly, right there and those two stumps, allow the field garden to have more sun. And so these logs have been sitting here since the fall. It's not really ideal. Um, we didn't do anything to the ends, but we're going to try to um, pick them up and move them with our John Deere so that we can bring them up to the mill and ash is really hard and so I'm gonna help Jay for a second here so ash is really hard and can be really good for um, workbenches, for example, which Jay was really excited about um, for his garage. It also um, is good for uh, cutting boards and, and furniture and things like that. So um, I know it, if we have extra, my dad will probably take it too, um, make us some stuff with the ash. So it'll be good to get it cut up and get to play with the mill a little bit more. This is what we call our lower lot here. It's about a half acre. And we've got a trail that goes all the way down. You can kind of see it all the way down there and it goes into the woods. And then this trail also goes all the way back up, which I will walk around the other side. I just want to watch Jay, make sure he's safe. <laughs> Good. That's a big log. Makes our tractor look small. So as I walk around here, you'll see that there's a little bit of a road that goes down to the lower lot from behind our hoop house. And that whole back lower lot area is lined with blackberries and raspberries that were here before we got here, as well as this little in between area, this is all raspberries right here. They are not the native ones. My brother did check. Looks like he might have dropped the log going down and around the corner. Probably needed to re-angle here. This is a nice little road down. We used it for the tractor. I did finally mow it last weekend. I might add some of that mowing footage. It's kind of just gorgeous down there. Birdie gets a little stressed when she can't see us. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there might have been a bobcat up here a couple hours ago, um, pretty close to the house. And her whole, all of her hair was up and she was sure there was something there. Looks like we need to do some brush cutting to, in order to bring these logs up here. There's a rock. Get out of the way here. Okay, good. Thought that was gonna hit there for a second. Watch. Oh, that looks close the hoop house and my car is kind of in the way. I just asked him if we needed to move it. We 
we come in front here. It's like a pro here. Jace has been rocking it. He finished our trellis. I'll be posting that video as well, the third part. I need to hang all those tomatoes now. He helped fill one of the beds in there that I hadn't done yet. And he got the two corn rows down in the field garden, garden all set up with compost. I left my chair right in the middle. I think it'll be fine, but I might need to go move it. That is a lot bigger diameter than I thought it was. So we have the LM30 Norwood saw. It's a beast. I'm gonna go around, see if I can. About three feet. You have from the forks, yeah. You want, you're coming in at an angle. You might want to straighten it out a little. You gotta go backwards, I think. Let me check this side. You. You're really close. You'll have to go this way, it's like two inches. Do you need to move this pin before? I don't know this whole machine yet, so. Um, just wanna make sure that I, I know what I'm looking at. Um, I believe this pin here might need to be adjusted this way before we put load the log on. Um, and the stoppers, we might want to raise up here. This piece here um, comes up, but I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not watching that side. That's that's like an inch over the bar. Are they flat? No. How far am I? You you have five inches to lower down. Come forward. No, stop. Go back up. Sit up. Tilt up. Tilt up. Okay. Come forward. This this side is short. There you go. Stop. Now this side's over about four inches. And this one's over about three. So you can start tilting. But I think you actually have to lift the whole thing up. Good. Now you can now you can angle down. What what uh, not much. Now you're hitting. I don't know what you want it yet.
<laughs> a little warning. What are you trying? You rolling it on? I'm gonna back up. He's making me a little nervous. Nothing new there. You went by your thingy. Your stopper. Where's your stopper? It's gonna roll off. Hopefully it's empty now. But Chase just found this. He was gonna put his finger in it. And we're trying to see about the height. We might need the chainsaw to come. Yeah, you're gonna to have to take that nub off. I should be able to do it with this. Yeah. So that support piece that he just moved that's so that the bar doesn't move as much. So when you have a smaller board and it's only going to hit this part, um, you can strengthen the blade, right? Uh, um, so you've got the piece underneath here that you got to move that'll tag into it. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? That one has a point to go in and kind of hold it. Yeah. So the sawmill should be able to cut the top off, Jace is saying. I might grab a tape measure real quick just so we can show you guys the dimensions here. You want to grab a tape? out of the back of the tractor. So a lot of the ash in our area up here in New England um, has ash borers. And I'm guessing that what we're seeing here at the end of this board is caused by them. I don't actually know for a fact. So we'll see how much, if, um, if there is any damage, hopefully not too bad throughout this whole tree. Twenty two it looks like. Yeah. And bottom to top, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Go from here. It looks like twenty six or so. Roughly. Maybe 24. It's hard to tell. You go from here. That's 27. Okay. Right to the tip. Oh, yeah. Ish, yeah. And then how long is it? I don't know. So 11 and a half. It's pretty straight too. All right, so you got you got your safety goggles? Nope. A lot of wind, so we'll have sawdust. Check your water lines, check your, all your checks. What dimension is
What's going on? Oh, you got a water leak? No, it wasn't coming out, so I took this out. That's just pressure fed, right? It's pressure yeah. fed and then it's gravity, gravity fed. fed. And then you have the thing, so when you press the throttle, it automatically starts. Lots of checks to do as we get used to using this machine. Is it clogged? So Jay's going to refill the water bucket now that he's cleaned out the spout and let it drain out. We have the clamp there because that likes to move very quickly with the wind. So he's going to take a couple first cuts. Looks like it bowed up a little bit there. he trips on it. figure out the best angles to take the video from and he's trying to figure out the different depths and when to turn the log so I see a problem there. yeah what's your problem is that it's not well, it's gonna be you, you, well, you can rotate. Right, if you rotate though, then potentially one side might not be. 
the street. Well, if you rotate it on all four, right? Because if you rotated this 90 instead of a like instead of a full flip, then you're resetting your level. That's a little bit, not much. I mean, it's on there. So this is what he's talking about right here. It was not on, so it wasn't stabilized. And there's a lot of activity of life. In there. Did you measure the small end? The small end? No, I did not. I think I. Oh, I put the tape over here. I'll be able to do some measurements now much better. Sitting at close to 20. So 20 to 17. Height is 16, so it's actually pretty round. I think that's a grapple. I probably, you guys can correct me. I don't have all the terms like Chase does. the scraper. Look at that grain. It's going to be gorgeous. Probably need to get a little toolbox. To tie you a toolbox or a bucket with all your tools from the garage you want to bring out when you're using this. What what are you going for? Two inch or for a, you're doing wood fence you could go like a three inch thickness, right? Oh uh, I thought you were making this the top use something else for the legs.
was really nervous because that little notch comes out right at the end and the support was questionable whether it would go by. It should just barely go by the way I eyed it earlier. I'm gonna put the clamp so we can move the, move the board. Those ants gross me out big time. Do you need help? adjusting the support to lock it in so now he can turn it a little bit more try to get it squared up The bottom needs to go towards it too. It's the, the bottom sliding out up the top. So that looks good. Slightly off, but it's really close. It's just a little bit on the top, but it's really close. You can get it. Okay. but the bottom slid back towards you.
front top, nor, uh, top needs to go towards towards the bar. Yeah, I think uh, it might have a little space towards the bar. This this one's really good. The whole thing just has to get like pulled. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Tighten it up. Okay, that's down, that's down. Safety checks.
hitting nails and other things. The ton of tension. Is that heavy? Why don't you just put it right behind you under the tractor? over here it's popping up wicked when you get to this point yep. so we saw this on a video to use a putty knife Drywall putty knife. I'm not sure. I don't know where we put that. That's a knot, but it could be. I don't know. You know, the guy, previous owner, did anything on the property. It is gorgeous, though. Gonna have a pretty beautiful uh, workbench. Is that the sensor part that had trouble? Yeah, it ended up being that the case was uh, not cut properly and it needed an adjustment. It needed to just get trimmed a little bit. And that way the sensor, the safety, safety sensor would allow. I'm going to stand back. <laughs> Do you need gloves? I think the hardest part was unwinding it, right? From a loop-de-loop. -loop. Part of the deal when we ordered the mill for Jace for Christmas was to make sure we had a few extra blades. We did find that there's a guy locally, or sort of local, that um, does sharpen them until he gets to the point where he wants to sharpen them himself. $700 for the tool, so. That's a little expensive. Yeah. And it's nothing special either. So have you learned any tricks yet about putting the blade in? Nope. So that's the tension there? Yep. Anyone watching this video ends up with some tips on cha blade changing, let us know. Check the roller in the bottoms. So if you look right here, the gullet is supposed to be even with this. So the gullet is the bottom part. Okay. So that's how you know if you spin it, that's even. Then you know that the line is good. But let's say we we're spinning it or walking out or in, we'd have to adjust the tension or adjust the uh, the blade on 
adjust the um, the tracking. So this seems like it's a little loose. Is that on purpose? That's normal. That's normal. Okay. Do you need to double check the other side? I can see it from here. <laughs> you, pr you actually probably have a better line than I do. Well, if you look, see? The gullet there is right on the edge of the wheel. Yep. So it looks the edge of the wheel, like with the part that touches the wheel or the edge of the wheel that sticks this, out? This part right here. Okay, yeah. So it's my pretty darn close to that. Yep, so our angle here, where I am, isn't as good as yours because you're coming on it straight across it. I'm coming at it perpendicular. Did the covers have to go off and go back on in a certain order or they just in, interchange? So he just said the blade guide was telling him, dive. blade dive was telling him that it was dull. What it, can you explain that? So if you look at the board, like we take a straight board here. Yeah. And we put it up against this, see how far off it is. And obviously this yeah. board is not super straight, but basically it's a, it's wavy. Yeah. And ash is wicked hard, right? So still trying to learn this thing, but from what I can research about it, that could be what's going on. So they say the first thing to do is check that. So this is the first tru troubleshooting. <laughs> Are you okay? Please don't do that. Well, you're supposed to work well sometimes. I did tell you. I remind you. I'd rather you hit your hand on the blade when it's not moving, so just for the record. Alright. Alright, what do you need to double check? It should be fine though. Okay. Did you double check all your the other, uh, style? all your arm things are down? This Yep. I moved this one down. still have the wrench there, adjust your arm. So now we've cut two sides and we're going to try to get it to a point where it comes down to he about here and then we'll cut it another side down here. I have no idea what this is. already saying that he can feel the difference in the blade. You need to go down. Uh, 
Hold on. Remember before how we were. Remember before how it was like jumping up at the end? Yeah. Look at the plane. That's dead on. All the way down. You know, So he's saying now the blade is really perfectly on. He didn't have to lift the blade back up to come backwards because the blade did a much straighter cut. So as we look at this down the line, it's not going to have the weave that it, it had before. It's just gonna be completely straight. Put the put the safety on. So can you put the so it doesn't blow at me? <laughs> yeah. Obviously this board is probably not perfect, not but perfect. But that's much closer. Well, much closer. Than, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> well, it's, it's this board actually. I don't think it's the. Uh, yeah. Cut. Ooh. This one has a bow in the middle. Yeah, well, that's rough cut too, right? Mm -hmm. well, not really, but... Yeah, you can see the bow on the on the board you just grabbed. So it doesn't matter. But it is much flatter. Anyway, it's much flatter. And it went through way easier. Yep. So, that's something I'm gonna have to learn. Either. The, the feels, right? Yeah. If it starts to be hard to push, then, it, then the blades don't. Gotta, the only thing I don't understand is this. What? It's, it, you stop. Well, it no, it it, it stops. It stops right yes. there? Yes. So it it's, did it last time. So, so it's hitting. So i got to figure that out. It's catching right on that. You have a wire brush or something? It doesn't stop. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Alright, so I'm going down to it. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty close. So this is the one spot you're talking about right here. Okay. Yeah, I think at two, two inches you'll, you should be squaring it off at the right amount, right here. Yep. So that's going to be what? Eleven. Eleven? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could go a little bit and cheat that this one corner. Yeah. Let's just Cause. take... Because really, if you think about it, it's this part back here. Right. So this one board, it, you could just start cutting shorter. board. Yeah. You just have a slightly shorter piece, which is fine. Probably. At least it's less waste. Right. So maybe do your dimension that you want, which I think is two inches anyways. Oh, well, you're going to lose some here too. That's the problem. Yes, but not back here. So you're gonna lose the butt, the last what 16 inches? You gonna check me on this? 20 inches? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um. But you know, so if you're going for two inch thickness, anyways. Or the other option would be rotate it. To make this into a. Oh yeah, that's way better. It, flat. Yeah. So, or the other which option. Which means we're gonna have to go all the way around again because. Yeah, you can see the weave. Um, or not. Are you you run it through a planer? That'll take that weave out. Another toy he needs to buy. He sold his planer to my dad when we moved. Let's take another inch off. Let's make it an even twelve this way. Well, yeah, but the even the inch. An inch off, you can still use quite a bit of that board. Is all I was trying to say. Wait, yeah. So you if mean you the, it, the inch board I'm cutting. Yeah, or you, yeah, exactly. It's not wasteful lumber.
Jason and I always work through things. Um, the fly. What's your favorite part of the, at this toy? So that you can make lumber. I think I like how simple the engineering of it is. Did that support just fall? Yep. So we'll have to start checking that a couple more times. Yeah, I was thinking you're gonna have to lower it soon anyways. If you need help, just let me know. Not that I'll be much help, but. It is definitely not a a light board. <laughs> oh, spiders. Wonderful. You're going back and forth on that, huh? You might want to split the difference in half so you actually get some usable boards again. Do you need me to hold it? Just watch your supports because you're going down quite a bit now. You don't want to split that in half and have some usable board in there in the middle? If you go up like an inch and a half. Are you? No, I know I, that would get the top of that dive, and then the second cut would do the. 
No, just get it done. Another reason I've cut it smaller. Please be careful. Jace is pretty happy about the square here. I don't know what the other side is. This is the wavy side, so. Yeah. It's still pretty good. A little wavy. Yeah, but not too bad. So right now, it, what are the dimensions? 12 10 by 12. 10 by 12. This is the current dimensions. <coughs> so we're thinking of just going just under two inch cut. Do not hurt your back, babes. Now rotate it one more time. Take this top bit off. Jesus. Just leave that edge. Okay. And then we can just yeah. that so it's slightly narrower. So. Right, so that, that part, those that what first four eight four feet will be a two by eight. That looks nice and snug. I like the way that looks much better than it had been. Now you have a now you have a flat bottom and a flat side. No gaps. Oh, so you adjusted it, so now you can go. You need spiders. So you're going to use the lip part of this now? Yeah. Instead of the thin pin.
lagi Tension built wicked there. Watch the ant nest. I'm pretty sure I just hit a piece of wood on uh, steel or something? Steel or something. A nail? Yeah. Instantly. Whatever was going on there, it was interesting. Yep. A bullet? Well, that sucks. I just killed this brand new wave. <laughs> The joys of uh, buying a property from a guy that liked to target practice on everything. How many more blades do you have? Another one more? Four more? Oh yeah, because I ha said to get the extra five pack. That really sucks. There's another nail down here too. Is there? Yep. So you hit a nail first, which started it, and then you hit Looks like a bullet. I don't see any teeth in this thing. Well, that sucks now. So, here's my question. Can then we use that blade one more time because we don't know how deep that stuff's going in? Hmm? No? Yeah. I mean, I don't really Before you... Be I don't really well, I mean, there's always an option or chance you're going to kill another blade, but. I don't know if this thing's going to want to cut again. I don't know either, but my thought was, actually, if you turn that, well, that's the bottom, yeah, so the top, you didn't have it. So that, there is a risk that, <laughs> careful, please. There is a risk on that, that it's still there. Depends. I mean, this, yeah. We don't know how far in we were in, like, because the top of this board doesn't have it, right? So it could be just the start of it that we just hit. So are you gonna? You have to set the blade to where it was, and then use the ruler, or what are you doing? Well, should be uh, eight because it's ten inches. That should be. Yeah. Just under two. Yeah. I gotta remember that. Jace.
got a lot of spring in it. So we're out of it, right? So now if you change the blade, we should be clean. Yep. That just sucks. Watch all those ants. Eesh. They're little treasures. You gotta think of it like that. Should uh, put an X or something on the on that board so that you remember to check it before you go and try to saw it. <laughs> yeah, watch this side of the supports now. You can hear it. Yeah. That bent? No. Right, yeah, it looks funky there. Just that one spot. Keep going a little bit more. Well, that was the, right that, there. No, that that's where the that's where it meets. Oh, because that's that tang or whatever thing together. that one looks weird. Huh? I don't what? see. I didn't see any missing. Some of them look like they're a little bent. Well, but, they're supposed to be bent. Yeah, but some one's look bent up. One's bent down. Some look more than the others. How much water is left in that thing? Oh yeah, you might need to refill it. I can't see the line. Yeah, it's done. I think I'm done too.